How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I don't have any more cold brew, man. And got the got the goods. Feeling great. I'm excited. And now, one thing that has been brought to my attention: Why do I continue to uh, implement intermittent fasting? I mean, I lost a good amount of weight. Honestly, love it. I sincerely believe that restricted eating is what we are or were biologically evolved into and I don't believe our bodies have adapted to uh, this American way or this uh, Western way of, of, of feeding just uh, based on just how my body has reacted I, I wake up every day feeling incredible like I have plenty of energy for basketball and lifting and and doing all sorts of stuff uh, throughout the day like I'd feel this like afternoon slump anyways i'm back here at the house i did go ahead and stop and pick up some breakfast for gabby so i'm gonna run this over to her and then we'll get into what we're gonna be doing today yo what is good guys so we just got here to south coast plaza it's one of the more popular malls here in the area oh my gosh he's posing or what dude maybe we can go vintage shopping after this if you want to there's a spot down the way i love it man we're both rocking dude these twinsies or what out. dude they're the same company as h m so i actually saw a really cool pair of boots on my buddy's instagram his name is woodrow uh yeah he pretty much uh, put me onto these boots i was like yo let's just make a video there cause right here so we made our way into the men's section oh this, these are like pleated swim trunks this is fire yeah it's got a prada vibe that's actually so accurate you know on the topic of like kind of menswear ish like minimalism ish i actually posted yesterday about the fear of god slides that are coming out and a lot of you guys are saying skip i want to know in the comment section why and i hope you guys keep that same energy i don't want to see those things resell i'm not saying i love them and i'm not saying i'd pay 200 for them hey, don't pull a union four right? don't pull a union. <laughs> all right so here are the boots i actually originally came for very easy to the wear soul, right? yeah the sole like that military sole but it's got like a pretty sleek silhouette i like how it's like two panels of leather oh it's 285. Yeah, that's kind of high but i mean like you can feel the quality hello uh, can I get these in an eight and a half, please? Got a raw denim uh, bucket hat here. How do I look in a bucket hat? Can I can I sport this or does it look dumb on me? Real friends tell the truth. You can. Can really pull this off though? I kind of like it too. I don't know. That's a good size too, actually. It's huge, bro. It looks huge, does it? Actually. Yeah. You can pull it off. Man. Riding that line. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't feel big. My toe is right there. All right, guys, so we made our way into the fitting room and I got a few pieces here. So we're gonna go ahead and try them on. So here is a t-shirt as well as the shorts on body. I actually like how these fit. So here's this uh, cargo denim on. Uh, they're 50% off, which is actually quite nice. Do you like them? They big enough to uh, purchase. I'm really liking this pleated tote too, actually. I think I'm gonna be going home with a few things, that of which I'll show you guys when I get home later today. It's uh, the customer service here is also just really, really great. All right, guys, I like the hat so much, I'm wearing it out. Uh, we are now headed to go vintage shopping. Harris and I were just like, yo, what are we doing? We don't even wanna be here. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got here to the vintage spot. Overall, my thoughts on Cause, awesome store. I definitely think that uh, it's worth a go. Prices are a little on the high side, but the quality is definitely there. So we're now here at Crossroads Antiques. Dude, this is actually really fire. Ooh, yep, they definitely got more stuff. Definitely got a lot of good stuff. More Carhartt vests. More Carhartt vests. What's up? They just keep restocking. Yeah, all of a sudden he likes vests. All of a sudden the Carhartt guy, huh? <laughs> Never work a day in his life. Uh, I don't know, it might be a little bit too big actually. It feels kind of small here, but you're saying it doesn't look too small? So it is absolutely mandatory to always stop at the taco stand. It is absolutely absurd how good the El Pastor is here. The El 
pastor. Fresh cut al pastor, unbelievable. So good. So I was wearing it out, right? And the lady who rung me out said, oh, I found your videos. And I was like, oh, how? It turns out a few of you guys came shopping here. Fire tacos here. Fire tacos, the best. I got four al pastor, stop playing with me. Oh, you got four? Yeah. My man. <laughs> All right, so we just got done with lunch. Absolutely delicious, delicious lunch. Uh, we're heading over to Earth Cafe now to grab a Spanish latte because Harrison's never had one and I just love them. So, so I'm waiting for my coffee here at Earth Cafe. I get a call from a none other than a telemarketer and look what just happened to my phone. I just cracked my phone. Now I need a case. <laughs> it should be the opposite. <laughs> you know, you get the case before you crack it, but for me, I'm gonna, yeah, anyways. I've dropped my phone a ton of times. I've dropped it like multiple times, but this is the first time it's done that. So, I mean, the iPhone's pretty resilient. Like it's pretty well made. I'm really surprised that it uh, just happened. Harrison's first time trying the Spanish latte. Oh. You ready? I'll try mine. Mm. So good. Spanish latte. Go. This is ice cream. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's insane, huh? Yo! Is that insane? Yeah, Fire. Earth Cafe, Spanish Latte, uh, strong, ice, Ooh. approved, Harrison approved. And he, and he eats good too. <laughs> I put a poll in my stories asking you guys what you guys thought about the new Fear of God slide. Results as of right now. No one's down, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. 3,000 people voted no. Uh, it's like uh, 3,000 to 2,000. So there's a lot of people that like them though too. We're taking a walk down memory lane. And if you guys ever ask if intermittent fasting is effective. It might have worked, man. I don't know. I remember taking this picture with you too. That wasn't even that long that was... ago. Let's see. It's kind of tough, dude. Actually mess with the distressing even. Fire. <laughs> Go for it. On at location number two. I didn't find anything myself, but Harrison. Got a little button up. Really, really fire. Do I show it right now? Yeah, go for it. OC repping. Harley. Little Harley. Work shirt. Those are literally cigarette holes. Venom. BK, this is kind of fire. All right, so of all the time I've been here, I never knew that this existed. This is a booth that's all vintage Disney. Bunch of posters, stuff like that. This is so, so sick. Vintage Levi's here, great fit. Thank you, bro, that's an amazing fade. Look at that with the distressing. 1980 Carhartt pants. Is it double panel? It's a 30. It's a 30. Yeah, you can totally turn these into shorts. These are 30. That is fire. This booth is like known for big guys, huh? Oh man, this is so fire. I wish I, I wish you fit me, dude. This thing is so sick. It literally goes with their fit right now, too. Dude, it's so fire. Like, because of their, their, their shoes. You know the shoes? It's all like sportswear stuff. So vintage Golden State Warriors. Scotty Pippen. Okay, not even that badly priced. So what do you got so far, bro? You know, some gallery department. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a pretty fire hoodie, it's you vintage. dude. Yeah, it is. It's a oh, really fire hoodie. What is this, old navy? No, no, regular navy. <laughs> Yo, these are so fire. Yo. So? Damn, gallery department? I'm not sure about that, man. <laughs> yeah, these are way too flare, but the pants themselves are so cool. Yeah, I love the pocket details yeah. and stuff. Hey. Dude. Let's see the front. Dude, this one is fire, man. So fire. Yeah, with this vintage shopping stuff, man, it's a total hit or miss. So, I mean, I think we've done pretty well today. I would say it's like right in the middle. Like not bad, but not amazing. I'm happy with uh, the cardigan purchase, out of which you guys voted for me to get. And I did go back and purchase it. So uh, thank you guys for giving me guys your feedback. I'm always listening to you guys. Another really great station, which should be around this corner here. Generally got, yep, ton of vintage tees. Vintage tea corner over here, so yeah. Stop playing. Oh, yeah, this is too big. Never mind. <laughs> dude, the distressing on there is dude. insane, dude. The one. Yeah, sick. Dude, I love this playlist. Another vintage work shirt, Dickies. Maybe Harrison will like that. 25 bucks. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, dude. This playlist just hits. So they're actually closing the place now because it closes at five here. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye. Yo, what is good guys? So back here at the house and just before we end today's video, I did want to go through everything that I did end up purchasing in today's video. And uh, first up, we have here this pair of boots. You guys saw this in the vlog. I tried them on over at Cause. And the reason why I ended up picking these up is because uh, the quality is pretty up there. Like the leather is super supple and nice. Got the nice hardware here. And uh, just overall, just a really unique looking pair of boots. The next thing I got over at Cause is this bag. It's got like a quilted element to it. And this is gonna be so perfect for like when I'm out and about vintage shopping, stuff like that. If I wanna throw my camera in. And the size is just awesome. It's all one piece made of a really nice nylon. So uh, go ahead and show you it on body here. Pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. Also from Cause, I did pick up these Sea Sucker shorts. Uh, they have like a, uh, I guess like a crinkly element to them. And these are really sick because they'll look really good dressed up. Yeah, I love how they fit and stuff and that's why I picked them up. Uh, they were a little bit pricey at 90 bucks, but um, I get it's more elevated with regard to quality and stuff like that. So I didn't mind. And of course it is the summertime, so you can't go wrong with shorts. I ended up getting this Carhartt vest. Now uh, this will definitely insulate the heat coming off of my body. I just liked it so much. I loved the way it fit and stuff like that. And it was pretty fairly priced, so I didn't feel too bad getting this, getting prepped up for fall, winter. And yes, I did get another outerwear piece. Uh, this one was just way too sick to pass up. Uh, this is a very heavy wool cardigan from the 40s. The quality is just outstanding. They just don't make stuff like this anymore. It's like got buttons made of like actual wood. Yeah, I, I couldn't let this one go, even though it was a little bit pricey. Uh, I just like how it fit and stuff like that in the video, so. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, feel free to comment down below what you guys thought about the pieces that I did pick up. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace and be blessed.